So over the last 10 years in the Premier League, we've seen some right good performances, right good players, but we're looking for icons of the decade, right? So we've got, we've got 15, okay? You're gonna choose your, your top five. We've got plenty from City, couple from United, plenty from Chelsea, and a mixture at the end. Who you yeah. wanna go at number five? Well, at number five, I'm gonna go with Harry Kane. Okay. I mean, no question. You talk about an emerging talent and, a, and a, certainly, certainly an icon for, for sports fans, but for me, he's one of our own. Will stick in my mind as the Harry Kane song. So, not just talking about his goals, not just talking about how he leads his team, not just talking about how he's captain in his country. Mm -hmm. No question, he's, he's an icon. He did miss a penalty on his debut against Hearts. Just saying. We lost the first leg 5 0. Hearts, who are they? Bottom of the table. The only way is up. Never heard of them. Okay, so we have 14 left. You've got Kane, so that's current. Are you sticking Listen, modern day or going back? Here's the problem I had with a lot of these. You know, people like John Terry, Frank Lampard, Ron Van Persie, uh, Wayne Rooney. You know, I, I think the, they're at their very best, just was on the edge of the turn of the decade. And so that's why people might wonder, say, hold on, how can you have Harry Kane ahead of Frank Lampard or John Terry or, or Van Persie? You know, Van Persie was, has, has, did it for a decade. But it's just the timing of when the decade started okay. is why I'm not picking some of these guys. And then Golo Kante, for me, again, another guy who emerged during the middle of this, this decade, won the Premier League with two different teams, was a... Yeah. I mean, you talk about a huge part. You're, you're talking about two players, in my opinion, who stick out um, for Leicester City when you think of Premier League titles in this decade. And Angola Kante with Leicester. And then he goes and does it with Chelsea as well. I know, by the way, in between, he wins no. a World Cup. So, All right. listen, tell me anybody here who did that in the last century. Nobody. Th this is interesting because it's totally subjective. Yes. Everyone will have maybe a different five or a different order. What would have been good, and I'm sure we'll do it at a later day, is we do individual clubs and, and kind of top three icons from those clubs over the decade. Because you see with the five that Manchester City have, mm. I mean, that would make a top three. It would make a decent top three. Your top three, at number three, who you got? Um, <laughs> we're going to have to go back up here again. Jamie Vardy. Okay. He said there was two names. When you think of Leicester City winning the Premier League, you think of N'Golo Kante and you think of Jamie Vardy. Again, without Jamie Vardy, it doesn't happen. Now, not only was this the biggest thing that happened, the biggest thing that happened in this decade, mm -hmm. it's the biggest thing that's happened, in my opinion, for the last three decades. In sport? In sp 5,000 to one. It even goes beyond, you talk about iconic, it even goes beyond just, just football. Mm -hmm. So. No question, Jamie Vardy has to be up there. Two left, so we're going to have some decent ones missing out. Lampard and Hazard were excellent for Chelsea, along with mm. John Terry. I think you've already said that Van Persie, you're not going to have him because his best was probably overlapping yeah. the decade. So who you got at two? Uh, at two, I have uh, the captain of probably the team of the decade, okay. Manchester City. Um, what, four titles in the decade, I think it is. Um, and not only a leader, but really you could say the emergence from injury of him in, uh, in last season's Premier League and his last season in the Premier League at mm -hmm. Man City, he's responsible not only for just his performances as a captain, but as a guy who scored a goal that, in my opinion, was the difference between Liverpool and City winning the Premier League. So, in my opinion, no question. Vincent Company in the last decade, absolute icon. Some good players are going to miss out because you only yep. got one spot left. Who's top of the pops? When I was asked this question, it took me 0.1 of a second to think of the first thing that came in my head. Hmm. And it's that goal by Sergio Aguero in injury time to win the Premier League title and snatch it from, of all teams, Manchester United. So, regardless of whether Sergio Aguero had never scored a goal before that, <laughs> had never scored a goal after it, when I think of the last decade, that is the one thing and the first thing that comes straight to my head, uh, to, to my ears. 
the name Aguero being screamed out as the ball hits the back of the net. I mean, just, and then of course the celebration. So I think that's, I think that's a good top five. As you said, some people will, will, will scratch their head, but these, these it's all two. individual. Listen, yeah. David here. here's a good one. David here. The only reason Man Manchester United have been in the, the top four, I think four times out of the last five seasons, something crazy like that, is because of this guy. He's carried Manchester United. Manchester United, arguably the biggest club in the world, he carried them for four or five years with his performances. So if somebody threw that at me and said, how can he not be in before this guy? Then I'll say it's, it's a personal opinion. Everybody has one. Just finally, out of interest, and I said earlier about if you were to do a club, like a top three, would he be in your top three for Chelsea? Bearing in mind you've got him in here because he won two titles, one at Leicester. You've got Terry, you've got Hazard, <coughs> you've got Lampard. Who would be your number one Chelsea? Well, that's a different question for yeah. a different time. I, I might tell you then. You tease. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.